Matthew Continetti, Editor-in-Chief of the Washington Free Beacon. Welcome back, Matthew. Thank you for having me. The only time voter turnout for the millennials has been over 20% is 1986 and 1994. What is going, what is driving this turnout? Well, I think what we have uh, is a, a poll that shows a great enthusiasm among young voters uh, who are energized about the midterm elections and probably e enthusiastic about dealing a blow to President Trump. Whether they actually show up at the polls well, on know, election day so is something of a different question. Predictions of actual voter turnout right. and actual turnout are often two different things. It's pretty widely accepted that millennials lean to the left that they're more liberal. Let's take a look at some more numbers from this poll. 41% identified as Democrat, 21% identified as Republican, and 35% identified as independent or unaffiliated. So what do politicians need to do to grab that 35% we just saw there? That's right. I mean, and that's typical, too, of America as a whole, kind of going away from either party and embracing a more independent label. I think we look at the millennial population for decades now. It's been trending to the left. Uh, it is more open to Democratic politicians, more liberal on social issues. And so that kind of correlates with support for Democrats uh, at the polls. And of course, uh, in the midst of this left turn among millennial voters, you've also seen a rise in the Republican or more conservative position politically. So those numbers bode ill for Republicans. They probably won't be the reason that Republicans have a bad night if Republicans have a bad night on Tuesday. Younger voters overwhelmingly supported Bernie Sanders in the Democratic presidential primary process in 2016 against Hillary Clinton. And so we've seen that shift to the left historically. What is it about the messaging, though, now from Democrats like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, she's in New York, or Ayanna Presley in Massachusetts, that is that is really resonating with millennials. I think what you see with this 18 to 29 year old population is kind of a suspicion of an antagonism toward establishments. That includes the Republican establishment. It also includes the Democratic establishment. And, and that's what about why, churches? Well, that's right. And that also includes institutions, right, including the church. And I actually think one reason we've seen millennials drift to the left is kind of lowering rates of church attendance among this population as well. That correlates with kind of these liberal positions on social issues. So that's right. They're embracing the more what's called democratic socialist left. And they're going to play a role in those victories for the democratic socialist left uh, on Election Day. I would just caution, however, that part of the left is not the entirety of the Democratic Party. And if the Democrats do have a good night on Tuesday, it will probably be because uh, of some more establishment-minded, more moderate Democrats winning those key suburban House districts uh, that will decide the election. Yes, and as we saw that in Jason Calvi's report earlier. Thank you so much, Matthew Continetti, ed editor-in-chief of the Washington Free Beacon.